Hey guys, how you doing? So, question about Laravel. I had a few questions that were put to me by somebody about Laravel. I thought you might find this interesting. It covers Laravel, but a broader subjects as usual. Again, I'm here to teach you how to be professional developers. I'm not just here to teach you how to code. So let me just jump into the piece. I have another question that has been lingering in my mind. Why are there no impressive websites that have been built with Laravel? I don't buy that premise because I know impressive websites have been built with Laravel. Uh, one of my uh, former mentees, uh, his company is built on top of Laravel and it's a $1.5 billion evaluation business. Very successful. Studio Web, not at that level, but Studio Web, I've been using, uh, well, we've been using Laravel for many years now uh, and it works fantastic. And we deal with many, many school districts around uh, the US and the world, in fact. So. I've never looked at the exhaustive list of what companies are using Laravel, but I can tell you from using Laravel and having deployed it uh, in high scale situations, it works very good. But that being said, I'm not saying drop everything, you should do Laravel, as you know, if you know me, all the major frameworks are pretty good these days, so you don't get too caught up in that. So let's jump to the piece. All the lists I have seen for awesome or top websites built with Laravel are sites no one has ever heard of. And some results include Laravel specific websites. He cites the link here, you can look it up if you want. What is it about Laravel in 2021? So he wrote this to me, uh, I don't know, a few months back. That is not attractive. What it is it? What is it about Laravel in 2021 that is not attractive to startups that have since grown and become successful companies? It has to do with um, the strange, um, feeling that the young nerdling developer community has vis-a-vis -vis PHP in general. It's interesting, PHP is the most widely used server side, most widely used server side, underlying server side programming language out there, just check. Mostly because of WordPress and Drupal and content management systems. It's so widely used. That said, um, a lot of people don't like it because there's this myth about PHP and the myth is that they, people still think PHP is what PHP was 15 years ago, right? They judge PHP based on the PHP ecosystem and the PHP language, how it was, you know, PHP 3.0. We're at PHP 8 now. And PHP 8 is a fully capable, fully enterprise-ready object-oriented language, and it's very performant, very memory efficient, very safe. The PHP of old, which was a big kludge and a mess, that's, that just, it just doesn't exist before. It'd be like comparing, looking at Python and comparing you know, and thinking that Python was still at Python 1.0 when we're at 3.11, I think now. But anyway, that's why. It's just this weird, bad feeling about PHP, even though it's so widely used. I like to say that PHP is the porn of the programming world. Nobody admits it, but a lot of people seem to use it. Anyhow, is it that older versions of PHP had more security vulnerabilities, bingo, you got it right there, that have since been addressed and the bad reputation is just stuck on PHP? That's exactly what it is. Or is it because PHP, or is it because of PHP's messy syntax? Well, that's, I, I concede that. Um, in terms of uh, beautiful syntax, I would argue PHP is not beautiful looking syntax but you can execute beautiful apps with PHP. But yeah, the, the syntax in PHP is uh, not the most pretty looking. That said, PHP is more consistent than JavaScript. Python, I don't like the carriage returns and you use a white space to, to delineate code blocks. I prefer curly braces, but this is a personal thing. But yeah, the syntax is not necessarily the most pretty to look at. Or is there some specific reason? There's no specific reason versus Laravel. Laravel is, is a very well-crafted MVC framework. And I built my own in Java a long time ago. My MVC framework wasn't nearly as sophisticated as what you see today. But I can tell you, having built them and used them and used a few, I can tell you Laravel is extremely pragmatic and extremely uh, capable. Uh, however, I noticed that this web page gave the top 10 Laravel web development companies and, big, and their big name clients. I'll put these links so you go check that out yourself. Do you think I'm correct in my assumption that big companies like Pfizer, Microsoft, and World Trade Center who are the clients of these Laravel web dev companies are only employing their services for non-essential projects 
for the core business. I don't know, you would have to talk to them. So what he's suggesting, maybe on the occasion where you have big clients who are using Laravel, he claims that these do, maybe they're just using Laravel for non-essential products. Could be, I don't know, I haven't looked into it. You have to understand something. When you have very old established companies like Pfizer, like the World Trade Center, etc., they're gonna have a lot of legacy code bases. Legacy mean very old. And a lot of them, it could be in COBOL, if it's old, old. It could be, uh, it could be old .NET uh, or .Java based applications. And they're not gonna drop those to build something from scratch. The fact that they're building new stuff out in Laravel uh, tells me they have a lot of confidence in Laravel. Because whenever a company has to implement a new set of technologies uh, to run their business, this is a liability because that means you gotta get a new set of developers, and developers are hard to find, good developers. So if you have a whole bunch of your software developed for the sake of argument in Java, and then you bring, you want to create new software or make, add new capabilities, maybe you want to use a microservices design pattern or something, anyhow, and you decide to leverage a totally different stack like PHP Laravel, that shows that you see that PHP Laravel is very compelling because the instinct of any manager is to stick to the same stack because you don't want to have to hire Java people and then I'll have to hire PHP people or, or people experienced with Laravel. Yeah, you could pivot. You can get your Java guys and they can be up and running fairly quickly with PHP Laravel. But as nerds are, there's going to be a lot of resistance there. The Java guys are going, I don't want to touch PHP. And the PHP guys are going, I don't want to touch uh, Java. So that to me, when they're implementing new technologies, even for smaller subsystems, subsystems that is a, a vote of confidence, an extreme vote of confidence as far as I'm concerned. I know I've asked you before about Laravel for freelancers, and you gave some positive response, but I think the, a freelancer would better serve learning a little more lightweight, lightweight PHP framework that is more suitable for small projects. That's a reasonable statement. That's a reasonable statement. I, I, um, you you got to use the right framework for the right job. and. I don't know, what are the lighter PHP frameworks today? I don't know, to be honest. Sometimes it just makes sense to use vanilla PHP or vanilla JavaScript. If you're doing a one or two page website, it would be way overkill to use Laravel. If you're doing a one or two or three page website, it would be way overkill, to use, overkill meaning it would be way too much to use Python Django or Spring Boot, especially Spring Boot. You use frameworks when you have a certain level of complexity and there are certain things that you have to do in your, uh, in your development, in your project, that would be tricky to do or be time consuming to do. This is where experience comes in, where you go in there as a top notch nerd and you look at the job requirements and then you pick out what tech, what libraries, what frameworks you will use given the needs of that project. And sometimes just using vanilla code is the better solution. On the other end of the spectrum, considering more heavy framework like Symfony, I do see some notable websites built with Symfony. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. Yeah, well, I haven't looked at the distribution of projects being built with Laravel versus Symfony. I know that Laravel, last time I checked, is by far the more popular framework. There's no question about that. It's by a long shot. Why a company may use a, a Laravel or a Symfony, there's so many factors that can play into it. It could be that simply some development company that has a good reputation decided to leverage Symfony for whatever reasons, and because of their contacts and their business dealings, they happen to be building systems for larger corporations, certain their client base with Symfony. And that it doesn't necessarily mean that they chose Symphony over Laravel. It could be that they just told they just chose Symphony due to circumstances. I hope that makes sense. That said, I'm not uh, attacking Symphony. I hear it's a very good framework, but it seems, as far as I remember, I haven't looked at it in many years. It, it was heavyweight. There's heavier than Laravel. Again, I've seen Laravel apps uh, run huge amount of traffic, like Studio Web. You know, especially during the uh, beginning of the school season, I could have a lot of students hitting it at the same time. And Laravel is able to handle it no problem, especially with PHP 8. When, when PHP went from 5.6 to 7, its efficiency went up 50%. It was a huge performance increase. 
And then from seven to eight, there's a little bit more of a bump. The PHP community is working hard always to uh, increase the efficiency of the language, which of course impacts Laravel. So there you go. Things can change though. I haven't, uh, I don't stay on top of day-to-day -day changes and details in a particular framework or another. Again, one of the reasons I don't teach frameworks, I don't teach new libraries because, well, not first, first of all, they're always changing. So I put out a course in Laravel and three days later it will be outdated because they'll update something. And second of all, you don't need me to. I teach what you don't get out there. I teach experience-based development, professional development, rather than trying to teach you do little tutorials on this, this framework, that framework, because there's, those are dime a dozen. And once you understand how to code and you know your fundamentals well, for you to learn one framework or the next or to learn some update to a language, it's just like, it's like this. It's like learning the changes to uh, iOS when it comes out. iOS 16 is coming out. Do you, know if, do you need a full course? If you're already familiar with the iPhone, when a new version of iOS comes out, do you need a full course? No, you don't. You just go, oh, this is what changes it. And that's how it is with development. Anyway, there you go. Let me wrap this up. Yeah, Laravel, I think, is a cool uh, framework. I think all the frameworks definitely have something to offer. Uh, very project specific, like anything else. I use Laravel, partly because it just, we've just been using it for years now. But uh, if ever a project came up and another framework or another language was better in a significant way versus PHP Laravel, then I would be very much open to uh, jumping over to that language or that framework, with the exception of Ruby, of course. 